Well, after wasting a bunch of time trying to find the keys and the other battery, I happened to find at least one of those things. Mainly the, uh, the other battery. Yeah, it's right here in the middle of the pharmacy, you know. Now we can power Carly's radio! And despite the fact that Lee made a note about the keys being behind the counter, they are not there. You can look high and low, but there will never be a dot indicating that there's something to check. So we're just gonna give and this to Carly. Should be able to get it to work now. You should, but are you going to be able to? It's still not working? Yeah, I can't figure it out. Let me have a look at that thing. Oh, go of ahead. course Carly can't figure it out. So we, we gotta be the guy that saves her technical know-how. Nothing. Alright, well, if it's not that, it's not the volume, then obviously it has to be something on the other side. Probably the batteries. Probably the batteries. Like, maybe for instance, you know, they're supposed to go the other way. But to Carly think to do that? No. Oh, my bad. I was trying to close it. Look what I did. I pulled a Carly right there. Oh, well. Fix that. Close the compartment. It should work now, right? Well, why don't we try the power button? And fix that. We're smarter than Carly. Continues to spread unchecked. The estimated death toll continues to skyrocket. WABE urges you to stay indoors and avoid any contact with individuals you suspect may have been exposed. The station is okay. In the event of a full... Uh, uh my, my producer's telling me we have to get over here. I'm sorry. God bless you all. Well, that sounded a bit dire, but... Oh well, not important. Uh, well, that fixes that. Now we gotta figure out where we can find the pharmacy keys. Like I said, I actually know where they are, but uh, we have to go to the motel damaged. first. Man, this place didn't get looted. No, oh, that's that's great. Still not gonna be any use to us. Let's see. We still cannot find the pharmacy keys. They aren't here. You might be wondering where do we go. Well, I'll give you a hint. I'll give you the I'll give you a hint as well as why don't we go talk to Doug? Also we cannot go in the bathroom. I know there was a zombie there. I figure hey, maybe we can expect the bathroom. Maybe the keys happen to be in there, you know, maybe someone who's dead in there happens to have them. Good. Wanna go have a look around outside? Of course I do. We Let's need to get around. to know Doug okay. here. Back is one of them. How the fuck? I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. Yeah, I think so too. We better keep it down out of here. Yeah, things look pretty dire, not gonna lie. Anyways, we can go out here, we can talk to Doug, we can kind of mess around with stuff. Hey man, what are you doing? We can't even think about going out there unless the keys are out there for sure. How do you know we were Okay, you know, despite our ridiculous attempts, it's you, you should know there's lock. no way we can really go out there with the combination lock. I mean, it's not electronic for one, and our remote of it's Any idea crazy. Where the pharmacy keys might be? We searched high and low inside before you guys got here. They weren't on the old couple we took out of the office. Are you okay? I'm fine. If the keys aren't in the drugstore. Think they could be out of here? We now live in a world where getting up and walking away is an actual possibility. So. Right. I sense a subtle hint right there. But let's keep talking to Doug. There's more we can do with that. Think you can do anything with this? Yeah. I used to fiddle around with stuff like that when I was a kid, but there's not much. 
have to do with it now. Man, I miss my robots. You're a strange guy, Doug. I know. But he's very technically knowledgeable, and that could be useful. Okay, very just useful. Brick. Okay, let's keep talking to Doug. He has more How'd to say. How'd you end up here? Well, I moved here to live with my uncle. He does tech stuff, and it just made sense. So you're local. You probably knew the owners of this place. No, not really. I've only been here a couple months, and I spend a lot of time... On the computer? No, just doing my own thing. Where are you? Well, uh, I know some folks here. Let's keep it low-key, you know? I know some folks here. Seem like as good a place as any. Oh. Friends? Family? They around? Family. But it doesn't seem like it. This gotta be tough for Leah here. <laughs> I'm gonna say that a lot, because this is kind of sad, Let's man. Head back I can't... Inside. Okay. Can't imagine what's going through Lee's head right now. I mean, we hear it through his dialogue, but no, oh, it's gotta be horrific for Lee. All right, well, there is a lot of subtle hints that the keys might be outside. I'm just gonna say that right now, but um, we're gonna talk to Carly and move out, or you know, maybe consult her a little bit about is she okay? Didn't sound too good. Are you okay? I'm fine. Well, you know, you don't have to be. That was pretty tough. You don't have to be. It's traumatic. I'm sure some people got out. Maybe they're all being rescued. Then again, maybe not. Ah, uh, she noted our concern. Good! She's gonna build the facade up better. You ready so, to head out? You got it. You? Yeah, might as well. Yeah. Let's go. Don't worry, we didn't mess up. We're supposed to do this. I know for a fact this is how it's supposed to work. Get down. Did you see that? Sure did. Be ready to shoot. Can we get out of here before any of these things notice us? Not yet. There's a survivor trapped up there. No way. We gotta go. Now. Listen, I was out here looking for gas. And then, up there in the corner room, I heard crying coming from inside. Who is it? It's a girl. We talked and she got frightened. I was trying to get in and help her and she started yelling and saying I was bitten. I tried to convince her I wasn't and that's when all these guys came out of the forest. A, a couple almost got me. I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky you. Now let's go. We can't just leave her. Damn right we can't. You guys are suicidal over a girl. I'm saving her with or without you. Think about it if it was you. Fine. Let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress. That's a good name for it. You know, we gotta save the girl. You know, Glenn's gonna be a hero. Nine shining armor. Although we're gonna have to contend with most of these zombies, so you know, Glenn, Glenn's gonna just be taking long. He's the freeloader in this. We'll figure out what we gotta do in a second. Okay, this is the plan. We don't know how hard it's gonna be to get her out of that room. Yeah, it's boarded up. So we have to kill every one of them in here. Quietly, no one attracts these things. Now let's have a look around. Alright, so now we gotta look on a way how to kill these zombies. Now, this is actually very easy to, um, die. I messed up a little bit, as you can tell. And yeah, that's right! If, if they see you for too long, you die! You get eaten! At least dead! So let's retry it. Let's not try to die. That's kind of the secondary objective of the mission. First is to save the girl. Second is to not die. So what do we do? Well, we gotta look for other things around us that we can survive. She's eating something. So we got that one right there. Close. That, that's a girl. That looks like a dude. I mean, it's a zombie, but it looks like a dude. There's a pillow over there. 
That's about as far as I got when it came to supply gap. I might have an idea for it. Good. Should take it. Good luck smothering them to death. That's not really what I have in mind. Because Lee's the edge kid. He knows what to do with that pillow. So what we do? Well, we gotta go to this truck. That pickup. Yeah. So let's go run and hide by that pickup. That door. Oh. Those two seem to be on the scent. Wait, they, they can actually they're attracted to sense. Well, why don't they kill you? I mean, I know they're we know they're attracted to noises, but now they can actually sniff out their play, their prey like hound dogs or something. I wonder if there's anything in the pickup. Well, that might be a self clue to some other objective. But for now, that that's not what we got. We got we got a zombie right here. Well, why don't we take care of him? Let's smother him to death with our pillow. Get out your gun. But the noise. Just follow my lead. Stay right behind me. That was sick. It didn't attract him. Fortunately, you know, to be honest, I feel like it would make a lot more noise than that, and we'd be pretty much. SOL, but oh well. We gotta push this car. As you can tell, there's a zombie right there. We gotta figure out how to get rid of him, but can't push the car. So, next thing, open the car door. So, we got two things in here. One's obvious, one not so obvious. Let's do the not so obvious one. With that, now we automatically take the spark plug. At least I think it's the spark plug. You should hold on to that. Because well, there you go. Confirmed to be a spark plug. Now we can push this. Because it's not on its break or whatever. And with that, we're going to make a zombie very unhappy. It was awesome. <laughs> yeah, they don't really care. But anyways, now with that done, we got... We gotta figure some other things. We can't exactly go for that one that killed us last time. Instead, we gotta look in here and. Yeah, pretty damn good way to stop these guys quietly. Yeah, that's right. Quietly. So how do we get in quietly? We smash it? No. We have that spark plug Wait. thing. Let me see the spark plug. Force inside these things turns car windows to tissue paper. Wow, Glenn's actually pretty smart. Alright, well with that, we can actually smash this window. Yeah, they still don't care. Because we're doing it right. I'm pretty lucky, aren't I? I don't know, you guys think I've done this before, but no, I'm actually doing this pretty much blind when I did it. Yeah, so now we got an ice pick. Now we actually got a weapon worthy of killing zombies, kind of. I mean, we gotta improvise a little bit, but I think that's not gonna be too much of a problem. We gotta get behind the RV, obviously, but there's nothing there. I just want you guys to know that I'm, I'm not too confident. Actually, what we have to do is we have to head back to that wall. Yeah. So, we're just gonna hide behind the wall again, and then we're gonna... Gotta be quick on this one. Because what we have to do... Is we gotta kill that zombie. You, re you remember the one. We gotta kill this, this guy. This pick is the prime walker killer. I should be able to take those guys out when they come around the corner of the RV. Yeah, that's right. We gotta take this guy out. So, we gotta be quick, because I don't want to die. Again. So, yep, we're just gonna do this, and he's gonna look at us slowly, but not a problem. She's dead. She completely. Well, she's re dead? I don't know. Then we gotta take out this guy. We gotta be quick also, because he's gonna kill us. So, yep. This pick is the prime walker killer. Didn't mean to do that. I meant to select the ice the pick RV. of death. Okay, intentionally attract the zombie. 
And BAM! Right in the heart. And then right in the head. Oof. You know, I know I said I think Lee killed his wife's lover, but now I'm convinced that he might have done it. Also, this guy's unhappy, but I have a solution for him. A very good solution. See, look at him. He's a lot more calmer now. He doesn't have a care in the world. Dude, where'd your weapon go? <laughs> Into that ice big sized hole. <laughs> Holy shit. It's cool. Now we've got this. That's you right. Let's meet our new best friend, Mr. Axe! Two more. That should help. That's right, with our new BFF giving us advice, Mr. Axe will certainly take care of this zombie epidemic. Why don't you guys lag behind just in case this goes to hell? Okay, we'll be right behind you. Not like we need you anymore because, you know, we got our friend, Mr. Axe. Oh man, I'm just gonna climb up these stairs and go politely talk to these other two zombie people here, you know? I'm sure we can be civilized and work this in a timely manner, you know? They're just trying to knock and get this girl's attention, but, you know, I, I, I don't think she appreciates it. So, Mr. X, what do you have to say about this? Oh, that, that was lovely! How about this guy? Yeah, I think they're convinced that not to do that anymore. Anyways, let's go talk to random damsel in distress. Let's knock on her door. Hello in there. We're here to help. Please just go away. Let's go, guys. In a minute. If you open up, we can take you somewhere safer. We've got a group in town. No, no, no. Please. She's in trouble. No. Miss, we're coming in. I think we should ask Mr. Axe for his advice to convince her. Alright, let's try this again. Stop! Just stop! I'm coming out. See, Mr. Axe is the most convincing person in the world. You're hurt. Oh, God. I, I said stay away. We need to get you help. It's too late for that. Guys, she's been bitten. What? I told you, I said go away! I'm bit! But you wouldn't just leave. Let's calm down. You could be fine. I won't be fine. My boyfriend was bitten. You get sick and you die, and, and you come back and you kill anything you can find. You have a boyfriend? Glenn. I don't want that. It's not Christian. Please, just leave me. Please go. Oh man, well, uh... Okay, we'll leave. Just... Try to take care of yourself for whatever time you have left. You have a gun. So... Can I... Borrow it? What do you mean, borrow? Give it to me? I can just... You know, end this, and then... And then there's no problem. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Please! I don't want to be one of them. They're... They're... Satanic. But suicide isn't very Christian either. We can't let you do that to yourself. Then do it for me! We need to get going. Give it to me, please! This is crazy! Please, step back. It's just two seconds, just one bullet, and I can be with my family, and it'll all be fine. Miss. Back up, please! Take it easy. We just want to help. You can't. Miss, just relax now. You need to think this through. We'll find you a doctor. It'll be okay. Let's all just... No, no! no! You... <sighs> Getting all emotional, kid. Get out of here. Oh god, we do have to get out of here. Shit. Here they come! Uh, well, 
Well, fortunately they got the car, right? Yeah. yeah they got the car. Damn. 